KCX Sports presents coverage of high school boys basketball. Tonight, the number one team in the state and defending state class 4A champion, Wysetta Trojans, at home to take on the Burnsville Blaze. From Wysetta High School, John Jacobson and Ryan Iverson. First of a doubleheader, the girls will be playing uh, Wysetta against Elk River in the game that will follow. But tonight, Ryan will get the treat to see a Wysetta team that even though it's a different roster than last year with a lot of personnel, they are rolling in the first six games of 2023-24. Yeah, and you remember last year, John, they struggled early in the season. This year, it's hard when you're defending state champions because everyone's coming at you. They have looked great. They have two really big wins on the year, beating a good Shakopee team and also beating Totino Grace. So they're rolling. They got a great mix of size. They got great guard play. They can shoot the ball. They can pass the ball, and they get up and down. So I think they're loaded again, ready to make another run. Burnsville comes in at one and two on the season. Won nine games a year ago in Eric Leifblad's first year as head coach, which was a big improvement over what they had done the previous two seasons. So making some improvements. Yep. However, they're a little shorthanded tonight. One of their starters from last year still out with an ACL injury. will be back in January. Another starter out sick tonight. They're a little shorthanded, and they were going to be facing a big challenge. So for them, what what do you try to get out of this game, knowing you're a, a yep. huge underdog? Well, I think all, all it does is, is it prepares you well for conference play. You're going to lose. You're probably going to lose tonight, and you're playing a really good team. But what are you doing? What are you working on? What are you getting better at? Are you running, you know, specific sets that your coach may want to see? Are you not turning the ball? Over? Are you not, you know, giving up easy points? Things like that. If you get beat because another team is just better, I think every coach can live with that. But how about limiting mistakes and just showing improvement when you're a team on the rise like Burnsville is and really has done a nice job the last couple of years? It's just that little incremental difference of getting better every single day. Let's look at our key players starting with the Blaze. Soren Leithblad is their leading scorer, averaging 13 points. Two assists, two rebounds per game. They'll need him to have a solid floor game. Yeah, he's five foot nine, so you know, not not the, the tallest kid in the world, but he's tough and he'll mix it in there. He can shoot, he can get off the dribble, and he's got to attack. And you look at, at this matchup tonight, and you see Burnsville John only averaging 55 points a game. Why well, is usually in the 80s, right? So that Burnsville's going to have to score his average of 13 points, especially with guys out of the lineup. He's probably going to have to be close to 20 or in the 20s for them to have a chance tonight. And for Wysetta, one of the top players in the state, no doubt, senior Jackson McAndrews off to a terrific start. Yeah, he really has. I'll tell you, he, we've gotten to see him for a couple of years now. I mean, his run in the state tournament last year, especially the state championship game, I thought he, he went from being a really good player to a phenomenal player. Had a great summer. He's bigger. He's stronger. He's even more confident. And remember early on when he was a sophomore, he relied a lot just on shooting threes. He will mix it up. He's off the dribble. He's dunking the ball on people. Had a really cool game-winning drive and shot against Satino. So he's been fun to watch. He's one of the best in the state, no doubt. I'm excited to see him play tonight. A treat to watch the Trojans in action here tonight. They'll take on Burnsville in just a few minutes. We'll come back and tip it off here on CCX after this. Back and about ready for tip-off. Burnsville White Center Boys Basketball Live. Their last game before the Christmas holiday here on CCX. And a girls game to follow. Elk River White Center at about 7.15 tonight. Starters for Burnsville. Jeremy Sherlock, Soren Leafblad, Colin Heckman, Tahir Peterson, and Eli Johnson. Three senior, two seniors and three juniors. And for White Center, it's Christian Wiggins, Ben Schaefer, Braden Sandman, Jackson McAndrew, and Drew Nepstead, four seniors and one sophomore. Wiggins among the starting five for the Trojans. Ball tapped in the backcourt and Burnsville in the white with the opening possession of the game. Yeah, and I think getting off to a good start. You're on the road playing the number one team in the state. If you can get a couple of good looks, good easy baskets, always helps. Sherlock in the corner. 
Trying to drive, gets cut off. Down to 15 seconds on the shot clock. Long three by Leithblad, not good. And the ball ends up in the hands of Ben Schaefer. He'll bring it into the front court. Opening possession for the Trojans, right to the basket, missed on the shot. Rebounded by Nefstead, out to Wiggins for a three. That won't go. And rebounded by Eli Johnson, the 6'4 senior. And it's Leafblad into the front court. Ball knocked away and a steal. Sandman can't hang on to it. Wiggins sliding on the floor, but he's out of bounds. Yeah, good hustle there. And Wyzetta, such good team defense. They, they'll, they'll play you hard. They'll, you know, their on-ball def defensive ability is great. Look at the hustle here. Almost got an easy layup out of it. Pressure by Wyzetta in the backcourt. Heckman getting it into the front court into the hands of Leafblad. In the corner, back out, deep shot from the wing. Leafblad short and grabbing the rebound is Sandman. Yeah, two tough, long, contested threes. Not an easy look. A little spin move around the rim and in. I, Sandman, what a great nickname, too, the Sandman. He's had a really nice year or two, John, averaging just under seven, but he gives you, you know, rebounds, assists, and he can score, and he's long and athletic, too, and plays great defense. Kind of that perfect fit for the Trojans. Sherlock underneath on a nice look, and Peterson is fouled. The junior will go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, nice screen along the baseline there. Good look, and he went right up with it, able to draw the foul. Peterson averaging just under six points a game, four rebounds. Good sized junior. First foul is on McAndrew. And there's the first point of the game for Burnsville. Yeah, it was on Nepstad. They, no, they Nepstad. said it was on McAndrew, but it was Nepstad that came over and, and got the foul. One out of two, McAndrew on the rebound. And into the hands of Schaefer into the front court. Sandman, three from the corner. Not good, rebounded by Johnson. And they missed a couple of open threes, but that's what makes Wyzetta so hard to defend, John, is they got great guards, they'll drive, and they're unselfish, and they get great looks, and they move the ball well. They'll give up a good shot for a great shot. It's kind of been Coach Schnettler's way here for the last 10 years. Peterson drives, good look at it, but can't get the shot to go off the glass. Wiggins pushes, now hands it back. Nepstead will go to the basket nice. and score. Yeah, and he's had another good year again. Not a huge score, eight points per game, but he's long, he's strong, and he, he can finish like that, and a great defender. They find the man open. That's Peterson to the basket. McAndrew disrupted that and gets the ball. They head into the front court. Schaefer, Wiggins will put up the three yeah. and hit. Yeah, it helps having McAndrew clean up the glass, throws it ahead. Schaefer again penetrates. Finds another great shooter, Christian Wiggins, can knock down open threes all day long. Again, that pressure in the backcourt, double team on the ball, but they break it. Leif Blatt from the corner, three spins out. Yeah, he didn't make that, but that's how you got to attack that press. Try to get a great shot out of it. Corner three is up and in for Schaefer. Timeout, Burnsville. 10-1, Wyzetta. And that's what Wyzetta has done. You know, we've talked for years, John, about Hopkins, right, and how fast they are in transition. Wyzetta, so good at a miss, taking a miss and going down the other end and getting a great shot. And there's a look at Nepstad's drive. But they got a miss three. Here you see throwing it up, drive and kick. Christian Wiggins knocks it down. And they shoot the ball so well that it can go from two to one to 10 to one in about a minute. And here's a good look at that push. Wiggins throws it up to Schaefer. Squares up, and you got to get out on them. They all can shoot, John. Hand down, man down. Schaefer and Nepstead, guys who came off the bench yeah. last year for that state championship team. They had you know, you know, Hayden Tibbetts, Jake Schmidt, Spencer Hall, all starters. They but they had, all got uh, minutes, right. and, they, and they all played a role. And then that's the thing. They, they're, they're experience. Yeah, you look at Jackson McAndrew, 25 points, 9 rebounds. He was so great in that state championship game. There's a rematch of the year before, won by yeah. Park Center in 22. Why is that a one in uh, 2021? They're pretty close to well, being a three-peat champion. And, and what's funny is, I, I if you would have told me going into those games, I thought the 2022 team for Wyzetta might have been better 
but you know they got the win last year and really a big part of it was just Jackson McAndrew refused to get denied he was a he went from like I said in the pregame from being a great player to I think just being an all-timer great performance Isaac Olmstead number one into the game now for Whitezetta Wiggins with his second mate three and they run a little screen the screener Wiggins sets that screen for Jackson McAndrew coming off the block you got a kid going to Creighton you pay so much attention to him he set a good screen like Wiggins said you end up being wide open and he's a knockdown shooter. Wyatt Macbeth also in for Wysetta at that timeout. Ball going to the cutter but then falling on the floor and traveling with Sherlock. And kind of what we maybe thought you know Burnsville just struggling to get a good look even. You can see the screen screen the screener three guys pay attention to to Jackson coming open. And you forget about Christian Wiggins, who is, you know, currently in this year shooting about 47% from three. Grew up in the Wysetta program, was at Benilde St. Yep. Margaret's last year, and now a starter here for Wysetta, just a sophomore. McAndrew comes around, yep. and he'll shoot three. Yeah, and that's something, too, that I think has grown in his game, is you see him come off that screen ready to shoot, almost before he even squared square up. People have such an awareness on him that he's got to have a quick release and he came off ready. And I know you're taught not to foul jump shooters, but you can't you can't fault someone there on the effort. Peterson trying to close out. First 13 points by Wyzetta, none from McAndrew, who's a 75% free throw shooter, has two more coming here. Yeah, it just looks so much more confident. And you see his body too, it's so much bigger and stronger. <laughs> Able to handle the physicality a lot more than he was as a sophomore, even last year as a junior. Evan Johnson, six foot senior guard in replacing Sandman. One out of three for McAndrew and the rebound pulled down by Heckman. Again, there's that backcourt pressure and Wyzetta this time able to force a turnover. And then a foul whistle. Well, they're gonna talk about it if it was a tie up or get a Jump ball or foul on Leaf Blad. And we got a timeout oh. called by Wyzetta. Yeah, and I think the other thing, John, that's always been so impressive for me about Wyzetta is even when they're really good, you see those kind of plays, the diving, the hustling, the, the playing extremely hard. Eric Leaf Blad, second year as head coach at Burnsville. As I mentioned, they improved from Three wins combined in the two previous seasons to nine wins a year ago. One and two right now to start 2023-24. And you don't realize how hard it is to change a program, right? Because you, if you're used to losing for those few years, you know, the attendance, people don't go, the excitement isn't there. He, uh, from all accounts, is doing a great job. He's, these kids are playing hard. Their youth program, you're starting to see them at all the tournaments now. So really, really doing a nice job there. And Brian Schnettler, 10th year as head coach. Already a couple of uh, state titles for him. And uh, okay. he came into a program that, that was good, but he's brought them yeah. to a whole nother level. And is it me or does he look younger and in better <laughs> shape every year? I, I got to find out what <laughs> magic well he's drinking from because he could probably get out there and still play and practice with the guys. Johnson gets it into the front court and out of Heckman. Burnsville is trying to get nice. some offense yep. going. Good drive on the baseline and unable to finish, though, was Samuel. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, didn't settle for a three there, trying to get to the rim. I like to see that. Long three by Olmstead missed, but the rebound came all the way out to Macbeth. That shot off the mark. A foul, and he whistled, I think, on Macbeth here on the loose ball. And Samuel. Really quick, only a junior, five foot eight, but you can see he's got that quick first step. And I think that's what Burnsville needs. They need to get something easy penetrating to the basket. Samuel back to Heckman, and he'll dribble it into the front court. McAndrew steps in, gets the steal. He'll take it to the basket. Oh, nice. oh a score and one. Yeah, good hands. I thought he was going to maybe think about pulling from three that time. And one dribble, took that contact. He's got those long legs, long arms, long stride, able to finish with the contact. A little Euro step. And smart too, and you know you're gonna get that whistle. Put it up there. 
A lot of kids will take that extra dribble and you might not get the continuation. Free throw up and good. Andrew with four points, 17 to one. White set up. And I just think he's he's such a great fit for Creighton, isn't he? The way they play. Here's Samuel for a three. It's Burns are looking for its first field goal. And you see him with Burnsville. Quick threes, no, no offensive rebounds, too. That's why I like too. If things aren't falling from the outside, John, if you can get to the rim, even if you don't score, you maybe can create some offensive rebound chances. Open for three, yeah. and another knockdown by Schaefer, who's got a pair of three-pointers now. Well, he's shooting 43% on the year from three. And again, trying to get the ball to McAndrews in the block. So much attention there that it frees him up for a wide-open look. Open three for Samuel. In and out, wouldn't go. Macbeth with the loose ball, and he'll dribble it up for the Trojans. Little hesitation, takes it right to the basket. Tip shot by McAndrew, not good. And out on the wing, it comes to the hands a Mokondu. Little floater on the lane for Samuel, won't go. Gets the loose ball, in some trouble there. Passes it out to the corner to Johnson. Little runder, and that won't fall for Ian Mokondu. Uh, you like the activity though, they're, you know, got a second chance, got something going to the basket. Turnover Wyzetta as Olmstead moved and Schaefer wasn't expecting him to. And well, and they've done that really well too, John. Is if you're guarding that perimeter and you turn your head, they go back door. It's almost a rule. It's something they practice every day in practice. They get a lot of looks, but sometimes you will get that little bit of miscommunication there. And some substitutions. You saw McAndrew come out for Wyzetta. And the pressure by Whitehead in the backcourt. And they yeah. force another turnover. Schaefer's got Olmstead with it. He'll take it oh, to the basket nice. and score. Drew the contact yeah. and puts it in off the glass. Not an easy no. basket. He puts it in. Spin move. Johnson oh, high my. off the glass. Oh. Up and in. That was a great shot. Or, nice spin. Peterson. Yeah. I'll tell you, McAndrews out of the game. It opens it up where you feel a little bit more confident going to the basket without the shot blocker there. Peterson has all three Burnsville points. Nep said shot not good. No. Follow up is up and in by Sandman. And that's what driving to the basket will do. You forces the defense to kind of contest that. Opens up offensive rebounding. Nice job by Sandman. Sherlock. And they're going to get a whistle and a foul on Schaefer. And if I'm Burnsville, I'm keep doing that. Keep putting pressure on. Don't settle for those quick early jump shots. Try to get to the rim and you can see, even if you don't get there, you might draw fouls. You might get the defense to collapse. Try to make something easy for on the offensive side. Eli Johnson back in, Colin Heckman out. Right about seven minutes here, as you can see on the scoreboard, it's all white set up. Yeah. I'm traveling here on yeah. Johnson. Yeah, good defense by Sandman there, moving his feet. Heckman, that was a very brief rest back in, and Andrew Dickhausen out for the blaze. Homestead, the talented sophomore, yeah, bringing very in the good. front court. He's played with my son Max for many years. He's a really talented young player. A great little spin move by Schaefer. Shot won't go, and a rebound to here Peterson. What do we say, John? All that jelly and no <laughs> toast. A beautiful move, just could not get it to fall. Sherlock on the block, back out to Peterson. And the Leaf Blad and Schaefer mans up on him. That's what I'd like to see Sherlock. You know, he's 6'1. He got the ball three, four feet from the basket. Turn and look. Try to get an easy one. Heckman got behind his defender, shot and missed. Johnson fouled on the arm. Yeah, great effort by Johnson fighting for that ball. That's the kind of effort, second effort, it's going to take. You've got to try to create as many opportunities as you can. Falls on Nepstead. That's his second, 14 foul on Wyzetta. Andrew and Wiggins back in for the Trojans. 
Heckman, Leaf Blad, another three. This there one goes. Go. Missed a couple yeah. early, but the leading scorer is able to knock one down and get on the board. Yeah, and they, they're going to need him like we talked about in the pregame. He's got a couple of good looks. That time really kind of took his time and knocked it down. He's got a nice looking shot. Wiggins, a nice defense by Sherlock. Then we'll get a foul on the Blaze. That's going to be two. Two on Peterson. He's working hard. He's battling for position there. And that's a big one because he's probably the one guy with the size. And he's still undersized at 6'5 against Nick Andrews, but has the size and the length and maybe the athleticism to, to make Nick Andrews really work on it. And that's his second fall. He's going to have to take a seat. Yannick Amoye, a 6'4 sophomore, will come in and take his place, number 12. <laughs> well, it might be the first time it's ever happened on our broadcast, John. It was a blood timeout was sponsored by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> McAndrew will pass it in. And yeah. puts it in. Good feed yeah. from Nepsed. And McAndrew able to power up it. And you talked about how early when we saw him in his career, more of a, a spot-up shooter from outside, but now definitely good down low on the post. Yeah, where well, I would beg him to get down there, right? <laughs> and there you can see his physicality, knowing he's got the size and the, and the strength. And he fought for his position. He's so good at finishing underneath. I think that's just really added to his game. It's added to their team, too. Because you know what, sometimes some games you're not feeling it from the perimeter, no matter how good of a shooter you are. But you play physical teams where you need a bucket and you can you have that option down low. He's really, really improved in that aspect of his game. Foul away from the ball on Sherlock, his first. And now 14 fouls on Burnsville. Wiggins, Nepstead, Sandman cut off, back out. Three, and it's long. Wiggins there, though, on the weak side rebound. Goes back out. Baseline shot, not good. McAndrew with it. A little spin up. Oh. Not good, but it'll go to the line for yeah. two. Yeah, pretty good defense by, by the Blaze there. Forcing tough shots. Just can't give up those offensive rebounds. You give a team like Wyzetta two and three chances every time down the floor. Wiggins got one, and that time McAndrew stayed with it, able to draw contact. And Wyset will use its second time out here. Trojans on their way to a seventh win of the season. Their coach said, you know, we'd like to get a, a test, but a little bit of how well they're they're playing. They're, I mean, they're blowing teams out because they are they are so good. Well, I'll tell you, they beat Shakopee, John, 96 to 80. Shakopee is one of the top 10 teams in the in the state, and and they beat them pretty handily, putting up 96 points against a team that has actually known for being a good defensive team. So this team, I think what makes them so hard to defend is they can beat you in such a variety of ways. They can play half court, but they can get up and down and they shoot the ball so well and they share it really well too. They'll play in the East Ridge Holiday Tournament next Thursday and Friday playing Eastview and Rosemont. Lakeville North, a big game in the new year, January 4th. Yeah. Burnsville next week will be at the Lakeville North tournament as McAndrew makes the first tournament, first uh, free throw rather. And Burnsville with one more game yet before uh, Monday. They host Lakeville South tomorrow night. Ooh, that doesn't get any easier either. Lakeville South, one of the better teams as well. Now McAndrew knocks down both. It's 28 6 Trojans. He's passing the midway point of the first half. Moye to the corner. Nice pass into Sherlock. Can't get it to go. Oh, he Loose for ball. It, yeah. And the Moye yeah. gets fouled on the way up. I love the energy and the effort that Burnsville's playing with. You're seeing they're driving to the basket, backdoor. Things are happening at the basket. And when you get that, here's that nice cut. But watch the defense have to collapse. And just fighting, staying with it was Sherlock. And it led to Amoy getting uh, getting the offensive rebound and getting fouled. Fouls on Sandman, his first. Check 
Second one is up and good. Hawaii getting one out of two. And moving screen whistled here against McAndrew. Yeah, I like that play design. A little fade screen with McAndrew as you kind of jump it and you get the back door out of it. That's one of those points of emphasis here. I've seen it called in a lot of high school basketball is that moving screen, really have, making sure guys are set. And a steal here as McAndrew takes the ball away and he would call oh. for another foul. Well, that's big too. That's going to be number two. Heckman holds the spot. He was definitely set, but it, you could tell McAndrews was trying to avoid it. Those, those are the kind of plays, don't you just wish they just let him go? I don't think McAndrews get, gained an advantage by what he did. Right. You know, it's not like he went through him. But. Moye, Heckman, and back out high. Uh, shot up, not yeah. good. Good help defense by Macbeth. Wiggins with a shot, not good. And that's the thing, too, why is that just so many guys that are long and lengthy. Macbeth at 6'6", comes over, blocks that shot, and then Sandman up and pushing it. Like I said, they can get out and run in transition, I think, as well as anyone in the state. Wiggins free throw, nothing but net. Yeah, I got a pure, pure looking stroke, no question about it. If Christian Peters. worked worked at CCX, John, he'd probably be, have the second best looking stroke behind you. <laughs> of course. W Wiggins makes them both. Don't Jay Wilcox shooting touch is underrated though. Don't don't show. I'm gonna tell him in the him girls' short. game tonight that, that you think he's a better shooter than you. Confidence is key, JJ. So two free throws for Wiggins, eight points for him, and a steal for Wyzetta. That's Evan Johnson with a steal. McAndrew letting it fly, not good. Wiggins follow up, that won't go. Loose ball and unable to keep it in play was Sherlock. And that length, that Wyzetta length. You get the turnover, you get a missed shot, but offensive rebounds tonight have been huge. Johnson to the corner. Homestead inside, McAndrew all sorts of contact yep. around him and he'll go to the line. Both teams now in the bonus the rest of the half here. McAndrew will shoot two. And it's, it's just hard to defend, right? Because when you've got a big like McAndrew setting a down screen for a really good shooter, you know, if you switch, you get a mismatch. If you don't switch, you give up an open three. If you overplay the shooter, then you got an easy post for McAndrew. Just hard to defend, hard to defend, a tough dilemma when you're scouting these guys. One and one, not two shots automatically, and it won't be as he misses the front end. And the rebound by Peterson, who went out with the two fouls. He's back in now for Burnsville. Throw ahead to Samuel. Little oh, ball, hands, and yeah. then picked up. Oh, All nice the way take. to the basket, Olmstead unable to finish out of bounds off Burnsville. Yeah, Isaac averaging over two steals a game. You see those quick hands and so smooth in the open court. Didn't get that one to fall, but just smooth to watch. Dickhausen back in. Eli Johnson, who was wearing 45 earlier, but then had that blood on his uniform now, has switched to 25. Comes out. On the block, McAndrew again draws the double team. Baseline pass, tough little shot, yeah. too strong on the one-hander by Macbeth. Yeah, and a nice double team too down there, forcing McAndrew to get rid of that ball. Nice hard double. Peterson Wiggins tried to take it away from him and has it get the steal. Now it's Macbeth with it. Up for McAndrew trying for the tip shot. That wouldn't go. Loose ball and controlled by Burnsville. Yeah, great hustle by Dickhausen there to just fight and battle, come away with that. Back at the other end, nice. Peterson puts yeah. it up and in. Nice little possession there. 
for Burnsville. Great effort on one end leads to a nice hard layup on the other. 30 second timeout, we'll look at the play again for Burnsville. Yeah, and that's smart too, I think, you know, if you're to hear Peterson, watch him go right up. No one, make, and McAndrews, maybe a little bit of body contact there too. Remember, he's got two fouls, so probably not gonna be as aggressive defensively. Smart play. Yeah, I like the way Burnsville, I mean, you look at the scoreboard and you're like, oh, I like the way Burnsville's playing. I mean, they're yep. not getting, they're turning it over, obviously, too much, not getting as many good looks as they need, but I, I don't know, there's something about, I, I like first their game. Two minutes, they were kind of forcing threes, yeah. right? Now it feels like, okay, we're playing, they're attacking now, and they've gotten some nice points out of it, too. So I'm, I'm with you. I feel like they're settled down a little bit and just competing now. And like we said in the pregame, you're, you know, realistically, are they going to win this game? Maybe not, but are you getting better? Do you, are you you working on the things that are going to make you a better team in the long run? And they certainly seem like that. Wiggins open from 15. Not good. Rebounded by Peterson. Yeah, Peterson's effort tonight has been fantastic. Leif Blatt has got the one basket tonight. Now in the handoff to Samuel. Peterson's going to take it to the basket yeah. up and he'll be rewarded and go to the yeah. line for two. Yep, that's what I always say too. You got to put pressures on the referee. Attack the basket more often than not. They're going to reward that. And that's the second foul too on Sandman. So you got a couple of players with Wyzetta here already with uh, two fouls. First one short for Peterson. Two baskets, one free throw for him so far tonight. Second one also good. Yeah, and I think Coach Leafblad, knowing maybe how important Peterson is to this game tonight, not wanting him to pick that third foul up, so maybe just trying to get him little breaks here and there to try to save him. He comes out of Moye back in. Sandman into the paint, off to Nepstead. Lost it briefly, back out. Oh, Reload, and a shot yeah. gets blocked out of bounds. And a good block by yeah. Heckman getting up and knocking it away off of Schaefer's hands. Yeah, at 6-2, he's got the, the length there and just a great effort to close out. See him come from all the way inside the lane there to contest that shot at the three-point line. Olmstead, baseline drive by Schaefer. Corner three from Wiggins. Yeah. He has knocked down three in the first half and has 11 points now. Yeah, made himself available on the baseline. A nice no-look pass, too, from Schaefer. And again, just that unselfish play of Wyzetta. Really fun basketball to watch. Leaf Blad, nice. short jumper in the lane, knocks it down. I think he was surprised he was so open. He caught it, maybe looking to swing it, and then realized no one was there. And he's got a nice looking stroke. Olmstead will put up a three yeah. and hit. First bench points tonight for Wyzetta. Yeah, he's a tremendous shooter, and you see the quick release too. Double he, can, he can get hot. Excuse me, Ryan, double team on Leaf Blad in the backcourt. Oh, barely just yeah. got that over. And then a foul on Sandman. And that's going to be his third. Yep. Third personal on number five, Sandman. He'll come out and McAndrew back in. And if I'm Birdsville, I'm continuing to attack and put pressure on, see if you can get more guys in fall trouble. Not only that, but it gets you to the, the free throw line here. A chance to slow the game down, get your defense set, and get some free points. Heckman, uh, the front end of the one and one misses. Mickey under the rebound. 36-13, Wise up. Four and a half minutes to go in the half. Nice drive uh, yeah. in the basket, and Schaefer scores. He's got 10 points. Yeah, good patience, too. There's some action going away. He waited for it to happen, then just a quick, nice left to right cross, able to get all the way to the rim. Nice pass. Great pass down low, and then the kick to the corner. Three ball wouldn't go. Good rebound underneath. Leaf nice. the follow up off the glass with a nice kiss 
And the Sh Sherlock assist, and Lee Flynn's got seven points. Yeah, nice job by Sherlock getting that offensive rebound, too. Schaefer on the shot fake on the three, and will hand off to Olmstead. McAndrew picks up his dribble, and that's yeah. set open underneath. And just great patience. And again, that's something, too, that I think is added. Not just looking for his own shot here. Patient knowing he's going to draw a lot of attention, a great cut by Nepstad, and it leads to an easy layup. Sherlock to the basket. It's it over McAndrew, who missed it. Now McAndrew will push it ahead. Pulls up for a long three. Too strong on the rebound by Heckman. Yeah, that was one of those momentum type shots, right? You make that one, you pull up deep, you hit it, the crowd goes nuts. Leaflad missing on his injury pass, trying to get it to Dickhausen out of bounds. Turnover Blaze. Johnson back in for Burnsville and for Wyzetta, Macbeth returns to the lineup. Ryan will be talking to both head coaches at halftime. And later tonight, El Kruber, Wyzetta girls basketball at approximately 7.15 here on CCX. Oh, Andrew nice in the paint, good look. Didn't get the shot to drop. Johnson rebounds. Leaf Glad into the front court on Schaefer. Sherlock, a little bump on Wiggins. Throws it back out. Leaf Glad trying to spin. Moye. Yeah. Ball movement here, but no open looks yet. And then Leaf Glad well short on that three and. Johnson yeah. unable to save it. Well, they had about three or four guys try to beat someone off the dribble. Really good individual man-to-man -man perimeter defense that time by Wyzetta. You know, and when you do that and you don't get beat, then you don't need help, right? And then there's no outlet. So tough defense, good half-court man-to-man defense. Samuel back in for Burnsville. Johnson for Wyzetta. Wiggins has been good tonight. Oh, trying to get the pass into Macbeth. Knocked away, and ooh, last touch by White Jetta. I don't know if that was <laughs> right, but. Yeah, and that's again, you talk about the unselfish play of White Zeta. I thought Christian that time had a pretty easy look, trying to make a great pass. And he, as a coach, you never fault that. Trying to give up a good shot for a great shot. Sherlock is bumped by Wiggins, and that's the. Tenth team foul, and this will be two shots at the line for the Blaze. Yeah, and Birdsville got to take advantage of these free throws, right? They're double bonus here the rest of the way. First one up and short. Got the second one. 46-team, just over two minutes to go. Wiggins hands it off. Johnson into McAndrew, fights up around and in, and he's fouled. Yeah, tough bucket. Again, that physicality. He's got the size, obviously the height too, but he's got the, the weight too on Amoye. Watch a battle down low for it. And again, tough finish. And I think too, John, having that ability to get those kind of buckets, you know, when you're playing a Park Center or a Tutino or, you know, Hopkins, whoever it might be, and, and you're not gonna get a lot of open threes or easy threes, having that bailout to be able to just say, go get us a bucket down low, I think is really such a luxury for Wyzetta to have, and such a luxury that he's worked hard at, at adding to his game, too. And a quick throw ahead here to Wiggins, who gets fouled by Johnson. All right, defense is so good, Ryan. And, and they get out and run, right? I mean, for years, we've talked about Hopkins turning a turnover into, into points, but you see Wyzetta really, they get out and run, and they can attack you in that, in that transition before your defense can get set up. Wiggins perfect, three for three from the free throw line. Three 
Three players scoring in double figures for Wysetta. Led by Wiggins with 13. Number 12, A minute 40 to go. Jeremy Sherlock to Eli Johnson. Double team at half court. Able to get the pass to Tahir Peterson up with a shot and foul going to go to the line for two. Well, what I love that he's doing is he's just getting it and going. He's not hesitating and he's getting down low and he's got the length and the athletic ability to just go straight up and he's drawn a number of fouls. Been to the free throw line a couple of times here tonight. Just got to be able to convert these. Foul on McBeth is his second. Wiggins was up briefly, back in. And this time, Peterson perfect on both. 120 to go as Olmstead brings it to the front court. Wiggins looking in for McAndrew, nice lobs it down low. Kind of lost his footing or just yeah. lost his grip on the ball and didn't get any part of the basket there. Yeah, and it was a good lob pass. He had no one on the weak side. If he would have been able to catch that, I think it'd just gather. Ball tipped. Another forced turnover by Wyzetta. Knocked out of bounds by Samuel. will stay with the Trojans. Yeah, that press has given Burnsville a little bit of trouble tonight, hasn't it? I mean, yes. A couple times they've Definitely. handled it by throwing over the top. And I think the, the length of some of these guys for Wyzetta, getting their hands on some of those passes and deflecting them. Wiggins three won't go and the rebound by Peterson. Under a minute to play 45 seconds now as Sherlock brings it to the front court for Burnsville. Shot up by Peterson not good good defense by Macbeth who comes down with the rebound. Free ball and it comes up short on the shot there from Michael Safir. And another turnover by Burnsville. Safir to the front court. Olmstead for three. Nice, nice. Yeah, Peterson was open on transition. He tripped. That led to a turnover. Wyzetta capitalizes. Isaac Olmstead knocks down his second three pointer of the game. Final seconds of the half. Leaf Blad from the baseline, not good. And it is a 30-point lead for Wyzetta at the break. 48-18 Trojans leading the Burnsville Blaze. They get out to that quick 17-1 start. And uh, played really well, balanced scoring, good defense, and not an unexpected score really at halftime. They are really good, and Burnsville down a couple of people. And they are down big at halftime. Girls basketball yet to follow here on CCX. We'll have highlights from this first half in a few moments. Let's go down now to uh, Ryan Iverson, Coach Stentler. Hey, Coach, what did you think of the first half? Played all right. I mean, our guys are playing hard. Um, I thought ro our rotations on defense were solid. Ball movement could be a little better, but we're getting pretty easy looks, so we don't have to move it all that well tonight. One of the, one of the things I said, I, I, as I've watched Jackson mature over the years, he's really establishing himself down low, and it's attracting so much attention, you're getting a lot of good looks out of it. Yeah, I mean, Jackson, he can score from all levels now. It's not just a catch-and-shoot guy. He can score in the paint, and uh, he's a little frustrated right now. Uh, he's getting pushed around a little bit, but he's got to play through it and find a way to score when teams are physical with him. And the biggest question and the last question, Coach, you, you seem to look younger and in better shape every year. Is there some secret that you're not sharing with the rest of us? I just learned it from you. You taught me everything. All right, good luck in the second half. Back to you, JJ. <laughs> All right, thanks, Ryan. We'll hear from Coach Leaflet of Burnsville before the start of the second half. 48-18, Wyzetta at the break. Come back with more basketball from Wyzetta High School after this.
halftime at Wyzetta with the Trojans leading the Burnsville Blaze 48 to 18. John Jacobson, Ryan Iverson back with you on this uh, Thursday. Doesn't feel like the first day of winter, Ryan. Officially it is, but it's another nice, mild December day here in Minnesota. And Merry Christmas from that <laughs> young lady. Let's look at highlights from the first half. And uh, good shooting for Wyzetta. That's not unexpected. You expect that every year, right? It's just yep. different players some years. Christian Wiggins knocking down the threes at three. Wyzetta's defense causing turnovers. Jackson McAndrew, a nice play there, and gets the and one. And then here it's Ben Schaefer attacking the basket and no scoring. No foul there either. Good contact. Burns to be able to get some uh, offense going. So here Peterson, I thought, had a nice... Yep. Uh, first half, despite having some foul trouble, three-pointer from Soren Leiflad, who's their leading scorer tonight and this season. And then Peterson, another two underneath for Burnsville. And Wiggins, another three ball from the corner for uh, Wyzetta. And then the good offensive rebound here. And pass, yep. put back by Jeremy Sherlock, for, or, or the pass rather, out to Leiflad for two from Jeremy Sherlock. And there we are at halftime. Peterson with eight, Leaflad seven, Moye with two points, and Wiggins, McAndrew, and Schaefer all in double figure scoring for Wyzetta. We'll take another time out. We'll be back. More basketball from Wyzetta after this. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Back we go to Ryan Iverson standing by with Eric Leifblad. Hey coach, you knew coming in here it was going to be a tough one. What did you think there of the first half? Yeah, I thought we competed really hard, which is what we talked about all week in terms of scouting report. We knew what we're in for. We know that's the best. I think that's the best team in the state. Uh, but I think if we make some shots, I think this the complexion of the game is a little bit different. We're not shooting it real well. We need to make some shots, but we're getting the shots we want. So I'm proud of how our guys are fighting. I'm proud of how they're competing and they're executing, we're just not finishing. We gotta finish in the second half. Burnsville really struggled in the years prior to you yes. taking over. You guys have really, I mean, you can see the steps you're taking. What, what's important to you? How have you been able to do that? We talk culture all the time, and we talk about trust, which for us, one of those silly acronyms, right? We wanna play with toughness, resiliency, work on our own stuff, we call that uniqueness, yep. servanthood, play for each other, and all of that we do together. That's what we're working on, that's why we're trying to get better. Awesome, well, continued luck to you. Good luck in the second half, thanks, Coach. Back to you, JJ. All right, thanks very much. Thanks to both coaches for taking a few moments with us. We'll come back, start of the second half in a moment. Burnsville, White Set on CCX. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Boy, is that a 48 and to 18 lead as we get ready for the start of the second half as the Trojans look to move to 7 0 on the season? A little excitement. You get some extra music in here and everything. And yeah, it's a fun night, fun atmosphere. Yeah, it's always fun to do the double header. And I actually love when the girls get to play second because you get kind of that leftover crowd, too. And I thought it was interesting what Coach Leafblad was talking about, you know, his energy. He said he loved their team's energy. It's kind of like what you and I were saying. The, other than maybe the first minute or two, they I thought they really competed. Remember last year, Ryan, you talked about this in the, in the pregame, and not since the game started, how as McAndrew puts up a three, miss, follows his own shot to the basket, and good. 
We did a, a double hitter here last year, maybe a week earlier in December. And Wyzetta started 0-2, lost that night to a very good Lakeville North team. They were 0-3. They went 27 and one the rest of the yeah. way. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking too. What I wonder what they ended the year on a, as far as a win streak, and then you add that to this year, it's probably got to be 15 games or so. Good shot block there yeah. on the shot attempt by Nepstead, and Burns still gets the ball back. Here's Peterson, Wiggins, nice tap of the ball from behind, but. It, Ended up in the hands of Leafblad. To the baseline. Yeah, 16 game winning streak. Four wise out of 10 last year, six so far. Pretty impressive. A little floater from Leafblad comes up short. Yeah, and I'd like to see him eat that, that, that little floater like that. There's no one there to contest that. Maybe take another step and, and, and get a, something at the rim. Nebstead spins out Sandman. Good aggressive rebound in the paint. Yeah. Gets tied up by Sherlock. Yeah, Sandman plays hard, doesn't he? Kind of does a little bit of all the dirty work. A hard rebounder, good defender. And he can shoot and score, too. Jump ball possession over to Burnsville. Samuel back in for Burnsville. He handles the ball here. Coming up on yeah. Schaefer. And I thought Samuel gave him a little spark when he came in in the first half. Kind of got to the rim, didn't... I think he only hit one of those shots that he took, but he... Just kind of brought a little dimension, a little quickness into the game for, for Birdsville. Hand off on the wing and back out high. And the ball knocked away from behind on Samuel and off of him and out of bounds. Yeah, it's, you've seen that from a couple players that reach from behind. That's where as, a, as an offensive player, you got to put that ball out in front of you so they can't get it. It can lead to some easy, quick transition points. If you're Wyzetta and you talk about uh, Burnsville, want to compete hard, you want to play a, a you don't want to play a sloppy game here in the second no. half. You're up 32, you're going to win, but you want to have your your core guys, well everybody, play a good half of ball going into the breaking, off for a week into the tournament. Yeah, and you could tell too, Coach Nettler wasn't thrilled with that first half, even though they're up 30. These kind of games, I think you're you're playing more against yourself, right? Are you shooting the ball? Are you making the right plays? is the effort, the hustle, all that kind of stuff. Because you're building and they, you know, these guys know what it takes to win a championship. You're constantly building until you get to that that part of, it, of the, the year in March, you know. Sandman converts on both free throws. He's got six points in the game. All four second half points have been to Wyzetta. And a good play by Sandman there. Able to affect the shot, get the ball back. Schaefer, quick three. Not good. Rebound, though, by Heckman. Schaefer cutting off Leafblad. Boy, his defense so tough. Yep. Leafblad's got to pick up his dribble. Now gets it into the front court to Colin Heckman. And just nothing easy. For Burnsville, there's a nice take. Great drive to yeah. the basket, and Jeremy Sherlock gets Burnsville on the board here in the second half. Yeah, and he's their second leading scorer at just under 10 points, and that was a great drive. No hesitation whatsoever, just attacked and finished. Schaefer spins short on the shot, and rebounded by Leafblad. Yeah, nice move, great spin, just had a tough angle on the finish. Pass down low, not to wait. Turnover Blaze. McAndrew will run it up, lobbing it. Wiggins able to corral it into Schaefer's hands. Down low to the baseline. Nepstead in traffic. Boy, tough shot, not good. Wiggins with the tap. He gets the loose ball. Goes out to the corner. Puts up That's the three. It, yeah. oh, my goodness. What a possession. Yeah. And, and, and so tough to defend against. They just keep the ball alive and finally get... The basket, and this time it's a three-pointer. Yeah, you're just seeing the length, right? Why is that? Just they got four guys on the floor that all are long. Keep that that possession going. Oh, Leafblad had wow. a shot erased by Sandman. And that's why he's at a defense. Leafblad, or excuse me, <laughs> Sandman came from the opposite three-point line to come and block that shot. 
couldn't even, he came from outside of your screen, just great effort, giving yourself up. And again, good length at six foot three. I'm just really impressed with Wyzetta's defense. Leaf flag, deep three. Back iron, not good. This ball foul is going to be whistled against Burnsville. Hmm. Or is it just out of bounds? Maybe not. Oh, no, no they a foul. called the yeah. foul. I, I think and you see Coach Leafblad is right. saying, what, what the <laughs> heck? He was boxing out. Dickow was in great effort to box out. Instead, he's whistled for his first foul. Olmstead, the Wiggins, pull up from 13, not good. But strong rebound by yep. Peterson. Spin move, but then Wiggins strips the ball away. Triller is Macbeth, back to Wiggins, up not good. Follow up by oh. Macbeth is good. And finally a foul is called. There was yeah. a pretty good contact on Wiggins right before that. And finally a foul called is Macbeth will get two foul shots. Yeah, you see Wiggins gets a steal with those long arms. A nice pass that oh, time that by a good block from me, Macbeth. I, and yeah. yeah. But look at that. I mean, you got three guys in the lane there, all with really long arms and, and tall and athletic. Just playing ping pong on the offensive glass. It's hard to defend. First point of the night for Wyatt Macbeth. And the big junior will have one more coming. Yeah, and he's their second leading scorer, or third leading scorer, excuse me, behind McAndrews and Wiggins, averaging in double figures just over 10 points. But he has been quiet offensively tonight. 57 to 20, Wyzetta. They led 48 18 at the half. Peterson, handoff to Leaf Blad. Back to Leaf Blad off the pass from Amoye. In the corner, Amoye finds Heckman. Shot clock down to six. From the corner, a block by Macbeth. Blocking the shot of Dickhausen. Macbeth will run it. Takes it to oh, the basket, scored, and won. There, you see that length there. Put that ball in one hand. And you create about three feet of space. Starts at one end. I mean, great block there, good length. And you see shooters all around him, and Macbeth just keeps it. And great length, able to finish even through the contact. You know, I think Burnsville's offense, John, is good. I mean, they're moving the ball, and they're everyone's touching it, and they're good drives, good kicks. It's just being defended really well. Nothing easy for Burnsville on the offensive end. McBeth with his team's last five points. And the margin now 40 with under 13 to go. We'll get into running time, looks like, in the final nine minutes of the half, eight minutes of the half. Shot right. up by Johnson for three. Yeah, nice looking shot. And oh. a three-pointer answered by Olmstead. Yeah, his third of the game. He is a lights-out shooter. And that's the thing. Oh, good hands there. Gets another steal. Steals is from Leaf Blatt. Olmstead of the basket. Not good. McAndrew trying to follow up. Couldn't get to the ball. Leaf Blatt will run it out for Burnsville. Heckman on the wing. Cut off by McBeth. Plays good defense again. Throws it ahead to Olmstead. Pulls up for three, yeah. my goodness. <laughs> Great confidence, you got a fast break, you know you're feeling it. Why challenge size and when you can just step back and knock it down, they shoot threes like they're layups. Leaf flat for three, that won't go. And offensive rebound, then a foul is Heckman. Hit the ground hard, got the offensive rebound, yep. and then why is that a foul? And you still, you love the effort you're seeing from Burnsville. Heckman that time still battling, fighting for offensive rebounds. Great to see. Fouls on Wiggins, that's his second. Go back.
back to that last three-pointer, Ryan, for Olmstead. Yeah, nice. Didn't like the size in front of him. He's like, all right, I'll just step back. And hey, it, I'll tell you what, it's smart. And I tell my son that, too, who's undersized. It's like, why battle for a layup when you're that good of a shooter? Knocks it down. Rattling home the free throw is Heckman. That's his first point tonight. He'll come out. Schaefer to the front court for the Trojans. Curling in the lane. Tough nice. shot all nicely. <laughs> Up and in for Michael Sophia. I'll tell you what, that was a tough angle, too. When he spun, he came back. Coming back to his right, he was at a very hard angle, almost behind the backboard, still able to finish it. Good finish there on the runner by Jeremy Sherlock. Second basket here in the second half for him. Yeah, and I like his game. He's got a smooth game to him. That was a nice looking move. Not up, not good from Schaefer. Rebound to Peterson. And through the hands or off the hands of Dickhausen out of bounds. And again, I mean, good movement by Burnsville. They're not stagnant. You can tell they're running a good system. Sixty-eight twenty-six under eleven minutes to play here in the second half. All right by Johnson, three-point oh. shot put up. Jack Simon knocks it down. And again, I mean, same. Different kids in the game, but same principles. Drive, probably could have taken a tough shot there. Instead, you find a teammate wide open, and Simon knocks down the first three of the game for him. Shot up, not good. Rebounded, pulled down by Safir. And a quick yep. play to the other end. Sam, I couldn't finish. They got it up court in a hurry. And then it's steal here for Simon. Three on one break. Back to Schaefer for three. Oh, wow. Timeout, Burnsville. Well, that's that's fun when you know everyone can shoot on your team and you're in transition and you got guys float almost like the Golden State Warriors, right? When they play, almost rather pull out and knock down threes. And here's a great pass, unselfish, Saphir over, and Schaefer again shooting at 43% from three, knocks down another one for him too. He's got 13 on the night. Seven three-pointers by Boisetta in the first half, Ryan. They've added five more here yeah. in the second. And they've taken a lot, too. I mean, that's that's a big part of their game. And they can get hot. And I always think, too, John, I mean, three-point shooting is contagious. When you see it going in, all of a sudden, you're, everyone shoots with a little bit more confidence, gets the crowd into it. It's a fun way to play basketball. And I think, too, if you're a teammate and you feel like guys are going to give you you know, give you the pass when you're open, you're going to return that favor too. And that part comes becomes contagious as well. If you're white, Dutta. What do you need to improve on? I know we're a long way away from the playoffs, but what do you want to see from this team between now and when it really yeah. counts in March? Well, I just think when you're a jump shooting team, it's, it's you know, you, you can go cold some games, right? Nice looking shot there by Leaf Black. First point. And, and when you go to the Target Center or Williams Arena or those other venues too, sometimes it's hard to shoot. You're not going to shoot well. Can you still find a way to win? And I think that's where Nice move, great looking move by Sandman. Can you score except for the three? Can you yeah, find, or, yeah, yeah, when you're struggling, right? Yeah. Can you find that, that other way? And I think I think with McAndrews, the way he's playing now and how much bigger and stronger and aggressive he is, nice move. As the Sandman basket yeah. a moment ago. I think Christian Wiggins too with his size at six foot four, he's such a good shooter, but I think he can also slash and get to the rim and get to the mid range. And so that's that's the biggest thing you're going to want to see because you're not always going to shoot well, no matter how good of a shooter you are. 
Oh, nice move. The basket up and in, and another point for Safir, who's had a couple of baskets yep. here in the second half. We saw Eli Johnson with his second three a moment ago for Burnsville on their last possession. Drive by Leithblad and cut off by Johnson, or by Safir, rather. Under nine to go. Moye back out. Johnson will try another three. This one off the mark. And nicely run down there by Makandu. Shot up nice. and in. It's a Moye. Yeah, good hustle grabbing that offensive rebound. And Moye got it. And he's got good length, too, only a sophomore. Schaefer will launch oh. a number three all the way around and in. He's got four three pointers now. Good old take a timeout here. I think they're going to get some substitutes. Yep. I think it's going to be the, the last look we'll see at the, their front line guys, their top eight in rotation with 8.17 to go. And Schaefer, another three. He's had four of them, 16 points tonight. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, look at all the players that have scored and how many yep. have been in double figures. And, th and that also, I think, is harder to defend. You were talking about big games, right? If you only have to focus on stopping one guy, that you can do, right? You can box in one, you can double, you can force guys into bad games. But if you got five guys that can all score, six guys that can get you 10 points on any night, I mean, that's, that's when it becomes hard to defend. Great block there. Colin Berg, 21, is in. You get a foul on Wysetta. Beyond Berg. I didn't see what the call was. What legal screen? I think so. Under eight minutes to go at 81-33, Wyzetta. If the guy's getting some varsity minutes here, you want to represent as well and play solid game, yep. right? Absolutely. Adam Dame out defensively there, 31 on the wing. Burns are really having to work on this possession. Shot clock down to three. Peterson's got to rush a corner three. Not good. They get the offensive rebound, though. Ball put up, and that spins out on the shot for Makandu. Berg into the front court. Oh, it's nice. a beer. Unable to get it to go, and we get a push and a foul on Burnsville. Well, I think they got it on on Dame, on Wyzetta. Oh, it is on Wyzetta. Yeah. Well, Adam Dame with his first. We are in uh, running time, as you can see. First look at uh, Connor McDevitt, 6'4 freshman, into the lineup for Burnsville now, number 33. Peterson off into the corner. Shot up. That gets uh, partially blocked. A Moyu shot. Anders Berg for Wyzetta. On Berg. Oh. Oh, nice move by yeah. Safir. Floats it up. Not good. Follow up try around. That won't go. <laughs> Nick Nordon. Nice finish. Way to stay with it. Man, that was a quick move by. Was that Safir with the move? He missed it, but yes, man, was that yes. a quick look at move. Oh, and then oh, a block nice out block. of bounds. And that's what you got to do. You get minutes. Nick's coming in and giving him good minutes here. Get the basket there. You get a great block. Nick Nordon, 6'7", junior. Basket on one end. Well, you probably got guys that. Block at the other. You know, at 6'7", you're probably starting at about 80% of the schools in Minnesota. If you're six seven and can walk and chew gum, you're starting right. somewhere. <laughs> Except when you're at Wyzetta, you know, you're six seven skilled and you're coming off the bench. It's a nice luxury. I like this kid too, John. I thought 
Peterson. Yeah, yeah, I think he's had a nice game. He's got nine points, could get into double figures here. Just played hard. I liked his energy and his effort tonight. One out of two, Jack Simon with the rebound. And only a junior. I mean, the most, other than Eli Johnson, I mean, the majority of the guys getting minutes for Burnsville, all juniors or sophomores, they're going to be, talk about them just building, they're going to be even better next year. Simon for three, not good. Foul up try, not good. Third try, <laughs> and then a, finally a foul, and Adam Dean will go to the line. Well, that's effort, right? 6-6, six, six, just keep going back up. Great hustle, these kids. It matters. When you get varsity time, it matters. And you want to put everything you can on tape. Free throw up and good. Jack Simon is coming out of the game. I, I wanted to, didn't want to go this game without mentioning. He's such a great uh, story. Football and basketball kid, cancer survivor, raises money now for cancer research. Came back from Hodgkin's lymphoma and just uh, all counts a, a great kid. Yeah. Got gifted a trip to the Super Bowl last year and went with his uh, with his brother. That's awesome. And uh, terrific player and and happy to have it cancer in his rearview mirror yeah, and then doing something about it too like raising money helping other people yeah. too what a legacy what an awesome kid the offensive foul great position and then they talk about those minutes this time it's nicholas hein who's just yeah. into the game holds his spot it's like yeah i can play yeah look at this you, again you, i'll tell you what if you want to earn minutes you take you come in you take a charge Coaches absolutely love that. You see his teammates fired up. Look at the bench, too, going nuts for him. You love to see that. Jaden Klein is in, number 10. Adam, uh, or excuse me, Ryan Mann, number 25. Tommy Shimungo Leilu is in, number 42 as well for Wyzetta. Under two and a half minutes to go. Mann with it, picks up his dribble. Now off to Klein. Shot clock down to 10. And to five oh, seconds. Nice oh, move. lay in, shot up and in for Ryan Mann. God, I thought he was going to get blocked, but he kind of snuck that finger roll. Final two minutes of the game. Three point shot. From McDevitt, not good. Scrabble for the loose ball. Back into McDevitt's hand. Lobs it down, though. Nice little pass, and the put up for two by Amoyi. Three point try from Hine. Off the mark and rebounded by Amoyi. 125 to play. Samuel to McDevitt. Down to the baseline to Jamel Mahitten, and that shot not good. And rebound, and run out here for Klein. Klein to the basket, finds his man open in the corner. Hine missed on the three point try. McDevitt, yeah, and that one is up and in. First basket tonight. Isaiah Pate, senior. Good to see a senior get in, get a basket, too. And again, I, I've been impressed. I know Burnsville, you know, scoring isn't going to be thrilled with this game, but I thought their effort has been really solid throughout. Shimungo Velu just missed on that basket try for Wyzetta. Three-point shot off from Samuel. Uh, 30 seconds, shot clock is off. Twenty-two seconds. Put up a three. Oh, got it. Knocked down by Ryan Mann. Yeah. That's five for Mann. Had a beautiful finger roll. There's a an easy layup for the freshman too. McDevitt for Burnsville. And he's six foot four too. You can tell he's going to have good length. I be excited to watch Burnsville, John, in the next year or two. I I, I like how hard they played, but. Why is that just too much here tonight? 89 to 40. The Trojans go to 
seven and zero on the season, and they do the things that you expect Wyzetta yeah. to do. They defend well, shoot the ball well, share, share the, ball the ball well, well yeah. right? Yeah. Great effort, and just getting up and down, putting 90 points up. They're very, very tough to guard offensively. We'll take a break. Ryan will come back. Our post game is next here from Wyzetta. More basketball will wrap things up after this. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Eighty nine forty. Wysetta goes to seven and zero on the season. Ryan Iverson standing by with one of the Trojans. Thanks, JJ. I'm with Christian Wiggins. Christian, sixteen points tonight, four threes. Man, it looked easy. Was it easy out there tonight? It was. We came out with hard energy, um, and that's really just what started on the defensive end. So then it just it just got easier and easier throughout the game. Okay, so I've known you since you were a little little guy. When did you get taller than me? Uh, I've had my growth spurt at least recently, but. I just been growing my whole life, so. Hey, one of the things I love about Wyzetta basketball, not only this year, but for years, you know, in the past, you guys give up a good shot for a great shot. And you guys, so many guys that can shoot. Is that something you talk about and work on? I mean, you had shots where you were open, you gave it up to someone else and vice versa. How important is that to your guys' team's success? It's very important. It's just the culture that uh, uh, Coach Schnellar has just built in this program just to make the extra pass and be unselfish, so. You guys are defending state champions. I know you weren't here last year, but you're, you're getting everyone's best shot, and you're starting seven and zero. What is it about this team? I mean, what do you guys have to continue to do to defend that state championship? Uh, really, come out with energy every single game. Don't take anything for granted, and just play defense hard. All right, now one on one, can you beat Jackson McAndrews in practice? Absolutely. What about Isaac? Absolutely. <laughs> Nobody can guard me. All right. Well, congratulations on a great, great game tonight for you and for the team. We'll see you soon. All right. Back to you, JJ. All right. Thank you very much, Ryan. Thanks to Christian Wiggins leading a. Balanced scoring attack, 16 points for him, 16 for Ben Schaefer, Jackson McAndrew with uh, 13, Isaac Olmstead with 12 points on four threes off the bench. Updated rankings in Class 4A, Wyzetta now takes over number one with Park Center suffering a loss to Chichino Grace the other night. Lakeville North at number three, and Shakopee, Minnetonka, Farmington, Hopkins. So three Lake Conference teams there in the top seven, Washburn, Osseo, and Buffalo also of the Lake. At number 10, with the class 4 rankings through today. That will do it for our telecast tonight. For Ryan Iverson and all of our crew, I'm John Jacobson. Wyzetta rolls to their seventh win of the season. They win at 89 to 40. Thanks so much for joining us. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from all of us at CCX.